Go ahead. Which one are you putting on right now? Morocco. Morocco. Okay. Morocco. Okay. Don't fall. Thank you so much. Gravidosis are those individuals who are born appearing as female and during puberty transition to male. Today we are going to go over 1. What is gravidosis and the genetics behind? And 2. How is it diagnosed? And 3. Despite gravidosis being first discovered in the Dominican Republic, what is its worldwide distribution? So, gravidosis, also known as penis at 12, it's a term used in the Dominican Republic to describe individuals who are born and assigned with female gender role because of the physical appearance, and later during puberty develop male sex characteristics such as increased muscle mass and deep voice. Some of these individuals would develop male genitalia and adopt male gender role completely and they can father children with assisted reproduction. Gravidosis is resulted from a genetic condition called alpha reductase deficiency. It's, called, it's caused by certain forms of the gene steroid 5-alpha reductase 2, SRD5A2. Just as its name implied, this gene helps instruct how to make the enzyme steroid 5-alpha reductase and this enzyme is important for the conversion from testosterone to dehydrotestosterone. During fetal development, DHT is critical for the formation of male sex characteristics, especially the external genitalia. Individuals with 5-alpha reductase deficiency has no to low level of the enzyme activity. As a result, they have no to low level of 5-HT. So babies would be born with external genitalia that appear female or not clearly female or male. During puberty, despite the lack of DHT, the surge of testosterone enables their body to develop male characteristics and leading to transition to male gender. The diagnosis of 5-alpha reductase deficiency is typically done through lab genetic testing. When specific variants are suspected in an individual, targeted variant analysis would be adequate. However, sometimes it may be necessary to perform sequence analysis of the entire gene. As of the year 2022, over 50 variants of SRD5A2 has been reported to link with 5-alpha reductase deficiency. Although gravidosis was first reported in the Dominican Republic, Cases of 5-alpha reductase deficiency are reported worldwide. According to a review paper published in 2020, cases have been reported in 44 countries over the world, including Turkey, China, Italy, and Brazil, and many more. Interesting. Interestingly, majority of the cases, in fact as many as 86% of the cases, are reported from countries with high income to mid to high income. Zero cases have been reported from low income countries. This is largely due to the relatively high cost of DNA sequencing and the limited access to care in low income countries. Another important finding is that the rate of gender change varies greatly from country to country, ranging from 16% to 70%. So that's all the information for gravidosis and alpha reductase deficiency. After doing all the research for today's episode, I just want to say, when you hear of a person, you might have the urge to find out if the person is a male or a female. And the urge can feel like something that comes from deep within, that's almost primordial. And that makes sense, because for any species to continue, its member must be able to know if an individual is someone that they can mate with to reproduce or not. However, we should not and we cannot stop at the primordial state as humans. We have technologies and we empower ourselves with information and communication. 
gravidosis and alpha reductase deficiency are one of those conditions under the big term of differences in sex development, DSD. This used to be called disorders in sex development. So I think the change is a good thing. It signifies one step forward as we understand each other. So before one call themselves normal and someone else that's different as abnormal, I just want to ask, do you know that gravidosis have less susceptibility to male pattern hair loss? So that's it for today. If you find it interesting and useful, please click like and share. If you want to hear more similar contents like this from me in future, I would love it if you could subscribe. Remember, the world is beautiful because we are different and I love you to every single base pair. Thanks for visiting. I'll see you next time.